Carmen. Hi, Winky. Did you enjoy the teacher's interview? Yes, sure. It's always nice getting to know more about our teachers. How about uh, our friends at our school? Did you want to know more about them? Mm, sure, why not? Mm, have you ever heard about the tour made by our students? Oh yes, I've heard that they have visited the USA. Mm, yes, indeed, they went to the USA. And, mm, it sounds really interesting. I'm wondering if they have enjoyed the trip. Really? Mm. Mm, here's the reporter's packet and the lemon. They are speaking to one of the students who went to the USA. Mm, so let's check it out. I'm Nemo. Hi, I'm Peggy. We are here with one of our classmates who has been on a study tour to the USA. Hi, Tracy. Hi. You are on a Spotlight Our School News program. Yes, welcome to our program. We will ask you some questions about your study trip to the USA. Okay. First, what was your famous place in the USA? I think it was the National Park. I like the Joshua Tree because there are many different kinds of plants, insects and rocks. We also could climb up the rocks, the big rocks. Um, we also could enjoy the beautiful views. It was very interesting. Tell us something that unites the American culture. Um, it is very special. The students there, they have a lot of opportunities to improve their knowledge. Mm, they are very close to, they are very close as a big family. Yeah. Do you think it helped you to learn more English and more? Mm, yes, because I have to speak in English all the time. Mm, because the people around me were speaking we are speaking in English. What was the exciting things in the USA? Mm, I think the most impressive things was the snow in Valentine's Day. Mm, I received a lot of candies and presents. Mm, I hugged each other and we took a photo with, with the whole class. It is good fun. Would you recommend other students to go for overseas study tour? Yeah, sure. Because I think it is good for the students. In trips like that, we could learn more English and meet more friends from different countries. Yes, thank you. Now, back to our friends. Mm. Thank you for their sharing. Mm. Besides that students went to USA, and other higher form students went to USA too. Mm, here's another reporter, um, Timmy and uh, Kelly. They are speaking to another student uh, who went to the USA. I'm Timmy. I'm Kelly. We are reporters from TVSY English TV channel. Hi, Cynthia. We would Hello. like to know more about your study tour in America. Would you mind answering some questions? Yes, of course. Our first question is, what was your favorite place in America and why? And it was Andrews University because uh, they've got beautiful campus and pretty dormitory and the food are nice and people are nice there. But most importantly, I think uh, that would be, uh, we've got a, a great time there. We have, uh, for example, we have um, a very excited uh, roller skating night and I can I could see snow for my first time uh, in my life, and we had a exciting snow fight, and this is the first time. So um, I think it is very bad that we just stay for a very a short time. Mm -hmm. Tell us something that you like the American culture. Well, one of the cultures that I like the most uh, is the people are very nice there, uh, because uh, people are. Uh, uh, most of the Americans, they are willing to talk to you and smile at you, even they don't know you very, uh, very well. Uh, but, well, actually, uh, I remember that when we stay in one of the uh, university and when we uh, stay at the dormitory, 
the lady student uh, next door just saw us and uh, came to our room to chat with us. And you know, we all enjoyed that night. And so I think the such open culture that make us feel very warm and uh, feel welcome. Do you think it helped you to learn more English and why? Um, I think you wouldn't expect that you will learn, uh, improve a lot uh, doing just these two weeks trips. But I think if you dare to talk to uh, people, the, the native speaker, and uh, you are not a shy, uh, not feel shy to uh, communicate with them. So uh, you definitely can build up to your confidence in speaking, uh, speaking English. So when you come back to Hong Kong, you are still willing to talk more in English. So yes, I think you can really learn something from the trip. Mm -hmm. What was the most exciting things in this trip? Um, I think the most exciting trips will be uh, going to uh, the Disney. Because you know, uh, the Disney in LA, they divided to two parts. One is California, uh, uh, California Adventure, where you can uh, play a lot of exciting games such as roller coaster. Uh, another part is uh, the Disneyland. So you can see a beautiful castle street and you can see the fantastic parades, the stage performance and fireworks and those, those kind of things. And actually we went both sides and we have a great time there and we played a lot and we just keep, uh, we just kept running and playing you know, it is exalted, but really, uh, uh, really a happy hour. So uh, I think this this is the most uh, happy memories in the trip. Would you recommend other students to go for overseas study tour? Yes, definitely. I think students, if they uh, can, uh, they are able to make themselves free to uh, go to the the, the trip. Uh, that would be really helpful. It is not the matter of improving your English, but also broaden your horizon. And I think this is very important in your life. Well, thank you very much for telling us about your trip. I'm sure many students will be interested in enjoying the future tours because of your sharing. Here is Kelly and Tammy reporting from TBS Y School campus. Now, back to the studio. Well, students and teachers, we hope you have enjoyed the program. And before ending the show for today, we would like to thank all the students, teachers, and the TV campus for the effort they have put into this project, founded by the English Enhancement Grant. We will be producing even better programs for you in the coming days. That's all for now, and remember to watch out for us again soon. Thanks for watching. Hop like a frog onto a rock. Hop like a frog, it's time to talk. Ribbit, ribbit, it likes to say. Hop like a frog every day.